All right, well, I want to say hello to everyone, and uh, we are Brandon, this is Brandon Watson, and Brandon Watson is the owner of Arkansas Golf Center, and my name is Dr. Brian Murphy. I am a physical therapist in Little Rock and the owner of Pinnacle Physical Therapy, and Brandon and I have a connection in the facet that Brandon uh, works with golfers all across the state and even outside of the state helping golfers maximize their equipment setup, their swing, uh, and, and just really helping them from the instruction side become the best golfers that they can become. And then I, as a golf physical therapist, help from the body side uh, addressing any limitations that the golfer might have, which is prohibiting them from uh, enhancing their game or might be contributing to pain. So Brandon and I wanted to Kind of get together and do a little talk about some of each of our own facets but then also how those things are interconnected um so i'm super excited to have uh, an opportunity to talk with you tonight yeah. Brian. Here's some awesome. information yeah i think this could be some uh you know really good information for you know the central arkansas even just you know central southern region uh that are striving to become better golfers and you know especially struggling uh, in, in that, um, you know, that quest. Yeah. Yeah. So I think one of the things that we discussed on, you know, every golfer, let's be honest, we all want to hit the ball further. <laughs> so right. yeah, Absolutely. I, yeah. I, I haven't had a golfer come to me yet and say, Brian, I don't want to hit the ball as far. <laughs> You're right. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I, I hear, I hear consistency a lot, but I've never heard anybody that was going to turn down any extra yardage ever. And some of the most disheartened golfers I've seen, or golfers that have recently lost, you know, what feels like in the last year, just their, you know, 20 yards off their, their drives. They've gotten a bit older. They've had a surgery. Uh, they just have ailments, you know, uh, their swing uh, mechanics have deteriorated. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a big part of the fun of the game, and that's what we're doing this for, fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about kind of how you approach um, helping golfers increase their, their distance. Well, you know, we're, as a facility, we're equipped to look both at the, the swing mechanics and the equipment to maximize efficiency from both of those. So uh, as a golf professional, as a master club fitter, uh, you know, I analyze with our high tech tools, both the equipment and the golf swing mechanics and sequencing and, and biomechanics, which is kind of a, a hot topic word right now, um, and make sure that they align with what the legends did. So from a standpoint of what I'm going to look at, I'm going to make sure that the body's moving as efficiently as it can. Uh, that the golf club itself is in the correct, you know, uh, positions around the body and that the body's moving in the correct sequencing. From a club standpoint, man, there's just so much we can do now. You know, I've been fitting for over 15 years and I know you can't buy a game, uh, but getting, uh, you know, getting the right proper equipment to fit your golf swing, it just has astounding results. I'm amazed. I do, you know, 20 fittings a week and I'm still amazed when I get that right shaft and head combo in somebody's hand, just, just how immediately their ball striking has improved. Yeah, yeah, that is uh, a huge facet and such a, really just a, if you're gonna invest in the equipment, I mean, the club fitting is like, it just, it's a no brainer. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, it's absolutely. such an easy way to see a big, a big bang for your buck. And Absolutely, you know, that's what we try to show is value. I, I, I tell my patrons all the time, I love my job because I don't have to play salesman. I get to just play scientist. And if those gains are worth the investment, make it. And if they're not, don't, you know, and so we just try to show them the value in investing their time and money in this game and, you know, to make it more fun. And so, you know, that's where I really like doing, uh, you know, not just instruction, but equipment fittings, because I can say, you know, hey, if, if these gains are worth the investment, make it. If they're not, let's, let's look at another way to improve your game. Yeah, exactly. And, and I think one of the facets that I look at, obviously, as a physical therapist is just does the golfer, when I do a thorough assessment of their uh, range of movement, of their balance, of their strength, knowing their prior injury history, um, all of those facets, looking at why might that golfer be struggling with their game, but from a body standpoint? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there definitely is a missing link, you know, uh, just, you know, and I'll admit, I, I'm a guy that does golf instruction and equipment fittings every day and all day. But for a person to maximize their, their game, maximize their potential, there's no way we can just, you know, overlook what's going on inside their body. I've, I've given 
you know, great advice, great instruction. I've, you know, I've struggled, have students struggle with the same faults such as early extension where their uh, spine extends up in the, in the downswing, they lose posture. And no matter how many drills I give them, no matter how much I show them the same thing month after month, year after year, they're just not able to remedy it. So that's where you come in and that's where there has to be uh, this additional step taken for a lot of golfers. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think, you know, from the standpoint of, um, looking at how do we best uh, create a routine and program for a golfer that is very catered to them and specific. You know, it's just like you doing a club fit. It's it's very individualistic to that to that golfer with their specifications. Um, it's the same thing when I do an assessment with a golfer. It's what are the impairments and limitations that that golfer in front of me is having that might be contributing to some, some of those swing characteristics that you're working on, the early extension that you talked about. Um, yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, uh, from an instructor standpoint, I do see um, very, very common tendencies. Just, you know, if uh, golfers aren't aware of early extension, that's just loss of posture, what most of them will call standing up uh, in, in, the, in the downswing. But as we know, knowing the body as we do, you better than I, there's more that goes on whenever we're making a golf swing than just staying in front bend. You know, so much is going on throughout uh, backswing transition and without the proper strength in your core, your glutes, there's just no way to hold those positions like you're gonna see some of our model pro swings do. And so, uh, you know, it's just so beneficial if, if a player does have the muscular ability to make the moves we're asking, they'll get so much more out of their, you know, golf club membership, rounds, practice time, you know, it's just, you know, I think it's a, a very big part of, you know, investing in this game. Yeah, for sure. I think one of the things that I like with your instruction, because I've personally taken lessons from you um, for, for my own game, but that, that ability to compare um, my swing, you know, as, as challenged as it is to <laughs> some of the best players in the world <laughs> and, and you highlighting, you know, some of those characteristics and some of the things that you want to see, I think is a really awesome tool with the, is it V1 is the program? Yeah, V1 Golf is in high speed video is one I've used now for, you know, a long time. They're, they've been industry leading. Uh, I do have some other softwares as, as well, but just the ability to be able to say, hey, look, Look, here's what you're doing. Here's what the best do. And not just cherry picking swings, but, you know, show swings from different eras that these bodies kept finding these same movement patterns uh, throughout time, whether they had an instructor, didn't have an instructor, uh, grew up speaking English, didn't speak English, you know, left-handed, right-handed. There's these same movement patterns that the legends, you know, so to speak, uh, left us, uh, you know, a, a roadmap. And so I like showing that. I like showing and convincing golfers this is a worthwhile, worthwhile endeavor to embark upon, you know, because change is hard. Motor pattern change is hard. You know, uh, this is why people struggle. Uh, so it's so, in, in, you know, very enjoyable to be able to give a golfer a plan. They follow this plan and immediately see results. And it worked, you know, pretty much, you know, for most 100% of the time that actually put in the uh, work and actually do the drills that I assign instead of just go try to feed it into their weekend rounds. You know, it does take work. You know, there's, there's no, there's no uh, ifs, ands, and buts about it. But uh, if you have a, the proper team behind you, that work can be, uh, you know, cut, cut in half or, or less drastically. You can, you can get there faster. Yeah, for sure. I think one of the things from the, from the body perspective that I see in what that term that you use, like movement coordination or motor control, you know, we, we of course know what that means, but but basically for the, for the golfer, it's that ability of the brain to tell the body to do something and then the body actually being able to do it. So right. when, and, and there are certain tests that I put a golfer through to look at, are they even able to make a move and, and what position they're in when they make that move, which then correlates to, can they try to do that when they're actually swinging a golf club, which is such a complex movement, you know? Right, and then, and then taking that movement from, say, like a flat practice mat to out on the golf course where you're not going to find much of an even lie and having the strength to hold yourself in this, in this posture, which is hard enough uh, on a range during perfect conditions, ball after ball getting in rhythm, and then every shot you hit on the golf course, there's these little nuances of ball below your feet, above your feet, uh, the grass is wet, it's longer, you know, that's what's so cool about this game. The golf course is a living, breathing organism that even if you played the same course 100 days in a row, 
you'll never hit the same shot twice. And so to prepare your body and your golf swing for that, it's just so important to enjoy the game. Yeah, for sure. We see that a lot in, in today's game and, and TPI, Titleist Performance Institute, that I've done some training through. Uh, they're big. We, we see them working with the best players in the world. I mean, they have a team of, you know, some of these uh, players have teams of 10 people around them. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. So we, we can't necessarily all have the luxury no. of that. But certainly a professional like yourself, a professional like myself, is surrounding a golfing athlete like we do with our clients that we mutually work together with. Man, that, that exponential improvement in their game is so evident when they put in the effort and they put in the time. Right. I mean, it's, it's, it... You know, it, it, it's calculated progress. I mean, you know, it's almost as if if you'll do these steps, you will get better. And, you know, that's it's unfortunate that there's, there's you know, so many people that have come, you know, tried it once, didn't work in a week or two, and then just decided, you know, it wasn't for them. Or maybe they didn't quite, you know, exactly do the, mo the movement patterns correct and never got it checked up. You know, that's my one wish for, you know, folks we worked with in the past, just to, just to come stick with it. You know, if you don't see that, if you're really doing what we're asking, you will see results, you know, from your standpoint and mine. And I know you see that all the time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I think one of the things that's important to kind of mention for those golfers that are trying to get through just like dealing with pain, man, you know, the answer is not popping four leave, you know, at, at the beginning of your round and yeah. then at the turn, you know, popping two more. Um so often people don't realize the compensations that happen when pain is on board. The movement patterns are impaired, compromised, firing patterns of muscles change. You know, talk about trying to, to learn that motor control and movement coordination. You might as well throw that out the window because that is totally changed when pain is on board. Pain is meant to alert you that, hey, something's wrong. And instead of just putting a Band-Aid on it, going to a physical therapist that has an understanding of golf mechanics and can do an assessment and find the root cause of the pain. That's the thing. You know, there's so many golfers that have low back pain, but the reason they have low back pain is because their upper back is super stiff. Their hips are super stiff. And all we have to do is increase the mobility in those two areas. And then their low back has a lot less work to do. And all of a sudden with good instruction, that golfer is not only playing pain free, but they're playing better golf than they ever have. Yeah, absolutely. You know, a proper golf swing doesn't have near as much wear and tear on the body as one that's, you know, you know, the upper body shearing against the lower body. I'm big on uh, letting, you know, some body parts move together. And you just see this from the long, longevity players of the game, Sam Snead, uh, Ben Hogan, my goodness, after basically having every bone broken in his body, uh, came back and, you know, was a phenomenal player. Uh, there's just in, in those swings, those guys, again, you know, really show um, and known for their extreme accuracy, really show, uh, you know, how the body, you know, best moves. I oftentimes think because of some of the inferior equipment they had back in that day, they had to really ask more out of their technique to get the best results. And so and studying that with today's equipment, with today's ability to fit, I mean, you can players can just excel so much you know through the through these programs it's it's amazing how quickly players can get good now yeah yeah and i and some of the patients that you've been uh you know generous enough to refer to me it's it, they're always blown away by how simplistic that what i do with them can be you know people have a, a fallacy that they need to join a gym they need to spend hours working on their body every day and the truth of the matter is when you get a great assessment and those limitations that you specifically have are highlighted, it makes it super easy for me to say, hey, Brandon, you know, these are three things that you need to be doing every day. And it may take 10 minutes, but yeah. that 10 minutes of time when it's specified to you is, I mean, it's just exponential improvement and dividends and not only just immediate uh improvement in the game, but then also we're talking about longevity in the game. You know, I, I personally want to be playing golf until I'm 90 years old. Right, yeah. Yeah, and, and if you're not working on your body, um, if you're not working on your body, that, that becomes a much harder ask uh, to, to play golf well into your older years. Yeah, you know, at any time, golf is a, 
I think a much more demanding athletic move than what a lot a lot of people just think. I don't think it looks easy. I don't think people look at it and think that looks easy, but it's harder than it looks and it's more demanding on the body. And I think people are very, very surprised, you know, especially those that just picked up golf in high school when their body was so supple and maybe they were playing other sports. And then now, uh, you know, maybe they took a little break uh, with have a family and start a career and then they come back and their body just doesn't work the same. And they're like, wow, I'm tired after an hour lesson. Wow, I'm tired after an hour fitting. And then we see through the process of, you know, us working together, helping diagnose some, uh, some swings, just them, you know, learning to move their body more efficiently and then strengthen those parts of the body that we're holding them back with you. You know, in just a few months, they're, you know, they're, they can hit three large buckets where they were struggling to hit a medium, you know, before they're striking the ball better. They're playing more rounds of golf. They're playing multiple days back to back. There's not as much pain. Uh, they don't have to, you know, take Monday off after a weekend tournament, you know, it's, there's just so many benefits. And again, the fun factor, that's what everyone's doing this for. You know, they're, you know, we compare to the, the tour pros. It's great. They do show us the roadmap. I use them uh, daily to show how the body should move. But to be honest, you know, that's not the end goal for 99.9% .9 of golfers. <laughs> it's just to have fun, to beat their buddy, to beat their personal best, to hit it a little bit longer, to rib their buddy because they're longer. You know, those are the things we want to help people with. Right, exactly. Yeah. And, and I think when pain's on board or when we have an athlete who's really struggling with some of those swing concepts and they're not seeing the improvement in their game, you know, adding that facet of, you know, uh, uh, appropriate club fitting or adding that facet of, you know, body work. I mean, it's, it's the missing link that can really take the golfer from a frustrated and kind of unenjoyable state of golf to hey I'm out there enjoying the weather I'm not stuck inside anymore I can get out and walk the course I can you know uh, what's interesting is they look there's a lot of studies that show just the mental uh, benefit from a uh, from a wellness and psychological standpoint that golf is just so beneficial to uh, to help the mental well-being of people that participate uh, so I think, especially now with all this COVID nonsense, I mean, we, we yeah. definitely need an outlet to uh, to keep our minds right. And I think golf is uh, is definitely one of those. And and obviously, you uh, have been a staple in that, uh, helping golfers in the Central Arkansas and really Arkansas area uh, do that and do that well. So yeah, uh, I'm, I'm super excited to just continue our relationship. Uh, and surround our golfers with kind of the best and uh, you know best technology, best information, uh, and, and just a very one-on-one -on -one approach where communication amongst professionals allows for just so many good things to happen. Exactly. You know, I'm excited to share what I've learned. We keep uh, investing in technology to invest in our region's golfers. Uh, you know, just in the last two years, I've added a GC quad and GC Hawk launch monitors. We have body track. And, you know, just what we're doing here, I continue to learn, you know, I learn from you, you learn from me, and we continue to be better. I think both of us can say we're better now at our jobs than we were a month ago, and definitely better than we were years ago. So, you know, just so much information, the fact that we're teaming up to help golfers just, you know, the, the free flow information and the format such as what we're doing right now, and us being able to diagnose swings, video send them back and forth to each other, talk about the problems, me learn more about the body, you would learn more about the golf swing. I mean, we're just going to keep growing. So, you know, I encourage folks uh, to, you know, to give it a try. Even if you gave it a try 10 years ago, try it again. I mean, what, where we're at now is just so far with the technology, the free flow of information. I've probably grown as much in the last two years as I have in the first, you know, 15 instructing before that. Yeah, that's 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 one of the things I like most about you is that obviously anybody that takes a lesson from you interacts with you. Uh, it's it's more than evident that your passion for the game and passion for what you do is there. Um, and I think that that obviously holds true for for myself as well. I, I went to school for a long time to do what I do, and, yeah. and I just really enjoy working with golfing athletes and really athletes in general to to perform and. And allow their body to kind of do the things that they want it to do. So, um, another resource that I created um, is the website ArkansasGolfHealth.com, and that uh, I put on that website a lot of great information. They can uh, golfers can go on there and test their body and look at some of these tests that I do with them. 
and maybe how uh, that can relate to some of those swing impairments that you see. Uh, so, so I stress to everybody, you know, obviously reach out to Brandon, you know, Arkansas Golf Center, that place is, is phenomenal to have that in the central Arkansas area is a huge asset. So if you haven't gone there, um, you know, I, I don't know what you're doing. So. <laughs> <laughs> that. You've been living. Yeah. <laughs> but, but then check out that website too. And then of course, um, like I said, my office is clinical physical therapy and I'm in West Little Rock and, uh, we just both look forward to working with you as, as individual golfers. And, uh, and, and like I said, Brandon, I'm, I'm super excited to continue my relationship with you and, and awesome. just learn from you. So. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, I've got Brian's information. Any of my students out there watching that who would like to take this a step further, I can get you his information. Of course, argolfcenter.com is where you can call, sign up for a fitting, sign up for a lesson. Uh, I am in the process of myself writing a little bit of an ebook that's going to, I'm going to send out and, try to make available to all my students just to keep them on task, keep them on drills, uh, keep them doing the homework, as I say, uh, so that, you know, everyone can keep getting better. Cool. Yeah, that's great. And I'm glad you mentioned ebook because I've created an ebook for every golf related injury that you could ever have. <laughs> so, yeah, I basically did it by body region and it kind of makes it a little simpler. You know, if you're a golfer with shoulder pain, shoot me a message. Um, you can, you know, find my contact information. Obviously Brandon has it, but my, uh, my email address too is brian at pinnacledpt.com. And I'll put, I'll put these in the little, we can actually, I think put these in the Perfect. thing. Yeah. Um, but those, those eBooks are a great resource to just say, Hey, these are five or six things that you can try on your own at home. I don't even, you know, uh, it's advice that I give to a lot of my um, my clients, so I'm, I'm more than happy to share those with you and, and see if that might be just what you need to kind of get over the hump. And if not, of course, I can kind of see you for a uh, specific examination and, and we can go from there. Great. Yeah, I think, I think uh, steaming up is going to be great for the community. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, awesome. Uh, thanks so much, Brandon. I know both of us had late nights. We just got, we pretty much just got home. So yeah. that, uh, that goes to show our golfers how much we're dedicated when we uh, just walked in the door at nine o'clock and now we're uh, on a, a zoom call at 10. So. <laughs> All right. Well, great. Uh, I, you know, it's been wonderful. Yeah. Cool. I'll be in touch with you, man. Thanks. Okay. All right. Thank you. Take care.